Okay, today we're going to do some custom badges using a new product by Madeira. And we just did our outline. And now we're going to do our stitching, actually making the inside of the bag for the patch. The new product is called EZ Badge Film. And it's not like a badge master. Badge master is water soluble. This is heat. So this is a plastic that will dissipate with heat. So you'd have to melt it. It will tear away. So it's a good tear away. And so this time we're trying two layers of it. Because with one layer, it kept busting its way through when I did my um, fill stitches. So this time I'm producing it with two layers of the Easy Badge Film. And it would only break its way through on the top and the bottom. So we did these stitches, run stitches, of course with our Wilcom software. So just get some run stitches. They have a pamphlet that you can download on Madeira's website that shows you how to do this. And you're going to have to play around with it. They say do it at a 45. I've done these a bunch of times so far. And uh, this is the first time I'm trying two layers. I'm hoping that this is going to solve my problem. But this is the custom patch. This isn't just a square little patch. This is total custom. And that's what we're trying to achieve. Being able to do custom patches. Not just something that you can pretty much, you know, just cut, cut some material, some patch material, and do a square patch or a round patch. These are total custom, so you can do weird stuff, things that aren't, that are more creative, doing really creative patches, and that's what we're trying to achieve. Plus, the other thing you're achieving is, right now, the inside of this patch is going to be yellow. But what happens if somebody comes to you and wants a few badges and they want the inside to be silver or maroon or some color that you don't have all this patch material? This is your way to make the patch material using the easy badge film. So that's what we're trying to accomplish. And I'm hoping we're going to get that done today. So here's some more cross stitches that I've done. And that's easy enough to do with your welcome software. These are run stitches. Now we got one more that we're going to do. This is going to be like literally at a 45 going across. And hopefully this ties it all in. This is actually making your patch and then you're going to go on top and do your fill stitch. You're going to have yourself a patch. But when you do the fill stitch, that's when it was cutting its way through the plastic. Um, so then when you go around to put your border on there, of course the border never um, had a gap there. And I can show you that at the end. So that's what you don't want to happen. So we're trying to solve that problem by using two pieces of the Easy Batch Film. So we'll see what happens when we get to doing the fill. And that's coming up pretty shortly. And as you can see, I'm going to use the same fill as I'm doing for these run stitches. Same color. And the same exact color. Makes it easy. So go right from here, go straight into your fill stitches, and do your golden yellow on the fill stitches, as you can see in just a minute. Remember, these badges take a long time. we got a lot of stitches. You're talking about doing 18,000 stitches. You're making the patch. So it is definitely a lot faster to just cut your applique or patch material. You know, do an outline, lay it down, and do it that way. But this material lets you do things that you can't do any other way. And that's why we're trying it out. We'd like to thank Madeira for sending us some material so we can play around with it 
and show you this video. So I hope you're seeing what's going on. I'm trying to figure out exactly the problems and how to solve those problems. And because if you're doing something simple, I'm sure you wouldn't even cut through there. But I am doing something a little bit more challenging, uh, something a little bit more custom, and that's why we're having these issues. So that's what's great about taking on challenges. You get to learn. It takes time, but you're learning and you're achieving something. And that's what I'm trying to get to you guys, something that is really cool and it's going to make you some money. So we'll be right back in a little bit and we'll take a look at it. Okay, we're almost done with our fill stitches. And it's looking better now that we have two layers of the Easy Badge film. Doesn't look like we're cutting away so much. So sometimes on some designs, you're going to have to really evaluate if you need two layers or one layer. Some might get away with one layer. This particular design did not like one layer. So now we're going to do the inside. And we're going to put place our embroidery to you actually on our patch. So now we've created our patch to the inside and then we're going to come around and do the outside. So we've got two colors on the inside, red and blue. And after we embroider that we'll see how good it's held together. Hopefully it won't have busted through the plastic in any way. And then we will put our actual satin stitch around the actual border of our custom patch. That's coming up. Remember, we have a lot of stitches here. 18,000 stitches or so. That's a lot of stitches. This does take time, guys. And a lot longer than it's going to take to do just a patch that you just cut out some applique material, which is some patch material. Do an outline, lay it in there, and just embroider the inside of a patch. Or buy some blank patches, you know, from a patch company, and just embroider the inside. That's a lot faster. But you're not going to be able to do something total custom in the way of a really cool, outrageous patch. Except for with this material. The Easy Badge Film. Now I did try the same process with the Badge Master and this stuff does work better than Badge Master. Of course Badge Master, like I said before, is water soluble and this stuff is, needs heat to get it to dissipate or for it, the plastic to melt. Well if you're going to put your... somebody wants to have glue on the back of it. You're going to have to go to your heat press and actually apply that. So you'll be able to dissolve this plastic off there and put on your adhesive glue on the back of these patches which are going to make them even look better. That's the next process in completing your patch. Now if somebody just wants to sew it on You're ready to go, pretty much. So let's come back in a little bit and talk some more about embroidering a custom badge or patch using the Easy Badge Film, brand new from Madeira. Okay, we're finishing up our badge or our patch, total custom, and we're gonna be done in just a little bit. Looks looking good this time. Two layers was the key in this particular design. Two layers of the Easy Badge film. And we'll take a look at it. But this time it doesn't look like it kept the plastic with the two layers. And it's looking pretty good. I think I'm going to dial it in just a little bit more on the next one. But I finally got it there. It's looking good. And now let's talk about something else. 
which is if you wanted the heat seal on the back of this to finish it off. And Madeira has some products there too. So there's a heat seal 4220, a 5 mil double sided heat activated seal. You can also get the heat seal 5256, another 5 mil double sided heat activated seal. And this one is polyester heat seal, the 5256, and the other one is a heat sensitive film, and that one's made out of polyleprin. So, two different types of, I'm not sure which one would be best. I guess talk to Madeira and see what they would say would be the best for your application. But like I say, if you're not going to actually, you're going to stitch it on, then of course we wouldn't need the heat seal. But we're almost done here. So we're going to take a look and look at the problems that exist sometimes uh, with doing these. I'll show you what happened to me, and you'll learn a little bit more. That's coming back. We'll take a look at this, and we'll tear it away. All done. Okay, let's look at our finished patch. Totally custom patch made with the EZ badge film. Wow, it's totally cool. Uh, just a teeny more tweaking and it will be perfect. But it's really cool. Remember, it's tear away, so it's just like Badge Master or Ultra Solvy. It just tears right away. So if you want to see that, I can show you that real quick. There's one piece. Remember, one at a time. There's the other piece. All I got to do is just tear off those little pieces on the side. Boom. There's your custom patch. Now if you want to put your heat seal on there, all you got to do is get your heat seal, which we already have some. I think we have the stall stuff, but um, they also have these great heel seal, heat seals, and I'll show you that right now, from Madeira. They sent it to me along with the sample. I'd like to thank them very much. And um, just get it down here so you can read it. Heat seal. Four two two zero heat seal. Five two five six heat seal. So you can get that, and you can press it on with your heat press, and heat seal the back so somebody can iron it onto their garments. Well, that's it. Embroidery using the easy badge film and I hope you enjoyed this video and I solved a bunch of things and I can make more badges now for anybody that has a custom badge comes in here and we can make total custom badges that's great it's a great thing to keep in the shop um, I think their prices are they sell it in a roll and um, you'll have to check with them on their prices on that but I think it comes out of New York or somewhere like that, but um, they have that webinar, so you can go to watch that webinar and get a feel of it and take a look at that. I did. That's how I got this started on this, and I think you'll like it. Try it, and I think you'll get it down just like I am. I'm just showing you a few things. Have any questions? Get back to us. One other thing I want to let you know is is it does have two different sides on this one side is got a perforation sort of on it and one side is just pretty much flat and easy so you want to I tried embroidering on both sides but I liked embroidering on the flat side with the perforations on the back so you want to think about that when you sandwich them together I don't think it really matters when you put two layers but I swam sandwiched the same same texture on both sides uh, to let you know when you do and it seems to work better when you do two layers so uh, keep that in mind 
And remember, subscribe to our channel. And more stuff to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the Embroidery to You channel. We'll see you next time. And have a great day.